Hey guys, welcome to the Sunday Funday AI video and we are going to talk about how AI can help us conceptualize a scene. So most of the times when I start working on a scene, I usually tend to go to Google or Pinterest or some other websites where I can get some ideas for conceptualizing or get some themes. Uh, most of the times, you know, while designing a game or while designing uh, a, a scene in 3D, uh, lighting plays a major role, the theme plays a major role and uh, it becomes very difficult and challenging at times to go down the memory lane and recollect okay what kind of mood do we want to create, what kind of lighting do we want to create, has it, uh, it does it have to be cinematic, does it have to be a cartoon theme, does it have to be uh, daylight, does it have to be uh, uh, you know a lighting where you see the sun, uh, sun shafts or the sun rays or the god rays and, and so many thoughts just keep coming to your mind. So let's see how Adobe Firefly with its new AI model can actually help us even if we create some crappy doodles or if we create some grayscale screenshots of a 3D scene. So on the screen you can see we have a kitchen scene. So let's understand how this is created. So let's go to the input. First of all, let me show you uh, with this Photoshop. Uh, I had created a render long time back and this is in 3D. So what I did was I went to Adobe Firefly and once you start or go to the page, you can see that in the general settings, I've selected Firefly Image 3 Preview. So this is a preview AI model. Uh, I have set the aspect ratio to 16 is to 9, which is a uh, wide screen almost so the content type you can select to be art or photo or you can just keep it to auto i prefer auto at this point of time and now if you see i have uploaded an image in the structure reference so this is really uh, interesting and in styles i have not given it a specific style in effects i have just selected digital art and hyper realistic and now let's go to the prompt section so only with these settings and a simple prompt which is a cinematic shot of an old classic kitchen from a fairy tale a, the AI is able to generate such beautiful pictures now if I was to change the prompt okay uh, let's say a cozy well lit kitchen in the daylight also I would say wooden kitchen of medieval now what is the spelling of medieval at times I'm just like you no know, not great with the vocab and the spellings uh, times and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the digital art because I just want to see a hyper realistic image of the kitchen oh my god this looks fabulous this looks fabulous and uh, instead of wooden let's try to give it uh, a cozy, well lit, uh, modern, sorry, kitchen in the daylight of uh, this cannot be medieval times with glossy wooden furniture, glossy and reflective wooden furniture and classic laminates and this looks fabulous so it has replaced the fruit bowl that was on the table the chairs are there the dining table is there uh, we have some window uh, this looks good let's try another one a cinematic shot of uh, an old rustic wooden instead of wooden let's do a stone from the old um, times which okay, during night time with moon light entering from the window and spider webs in the 
corners and this this looks like a very cinematic shot but it looks like it's it's not hyper realistic it's 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 a concept art so it did okayish i would say not that great but i would say yeah it looks decently fine so let's go to photoshop and like i was talking about earlier let's try a different scene uh let's i have a couple of scenes to be honest and the scene that i would like to try out next is going to be this so this is a very raw render so i just took a 3d file and just put a sunlight put some mountains here and there and just added a couple of things let's try using this render and feeding it up right here so i had already set this up for you guys and uh, what we can do is let's check the general settings i have given it a landscape 4 by 3 but let's go wide screen now we can keep the content type to auto i have fed the same reference if you see right here and we next go and select let's say hyper realistic let's create a hyper realistic uh image so the image is going to be of an old wooden cottage on the hills with forest in the background at night and a starry sky and moonlight with reflections in the lake and fireworks in the sky so i am going to remove the fireworks because you have seen the prompt and you have seen the images and they look beautiful let's try an old wooden cottage in 16 is to 9 ratio oh my god yeah this looks interesting and it's a wooden cottage but if i was supposed to change it from a wooden cottage to a stone and brick cottage on the hills with forest in the background instead of forest let's do with mountain range in the background and uh, let's try and add some rocks in the foreground at night under starry uh, starry sky and moonlight with reflection in the lake instead of reflection with a born fire this looks quite interesting i don't know why do you have some flare going on right here but it's a stone and a brick cottage i look at the detail it looks uh, it is great uh all right now instead of night what we can do is uh, with mountain range in the background and some rocks in the foreground uh during daylight with mist and fog old stone and brick cottage mountain range in the background with bricks and rocks uh, and uh, mist and fog here we instead of dramatic lighting we do none and let's try a digital art instead of hyper realistic this is brilliant like if you would have to use this house somewhere and it's a brilliant digital art now the third thing so let me quickly show you one more uh interesting stuff that i tried out i downloaded a 3d scene of a train and loaded up in unity and i took a screenshot of this and loaded up in uh firefly so if you see this is the screenshot right here the train one exactly and let's look at the prompt so the prompt is a cinematic shot of a steam train going through the woods on a wooden bridge with people waiting for the train during daytime and that looks very interesting it has created a you know interesting kind of a shot so let's try and play around with this image i made it in 3d you can actually change the angle and again try something so cinematic shot of a, a steam train going through let's do this uh going through the mountains with a during rain with mist and fog oops and heavy strobe lights on the train wow this is interesting it changed in the fourth image it changed the train or basically it kept the train as it is from this with some changes but in the first three like 1 2 and 3 it is just some round trains from uh, perhaps orient express <laughs> all right so let's try this now this is hyper realistic let's try some digital art 
and a cinematic shot of a train going through the woods with during night time with heavy rain fall a forest in the uh, instead of forest let's do uh, hills in the background background with reflection in the lake now if you see it directly changed from the steam engine to a different kind of a train which is more sci-fi now if i have to go back again to steam train and if i was supposed to change this from hyper uh, digital art to hyper realistic wow so again this looks pretty interesting from what uh, inputs we had given now let's try something more interesting i had downloaded one more scene and it is of a museum where you have this kind of a scene uh with 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 the carcass of a couple of animals and uh, this this dino is right here so if i just zoom into this so i took a screenshot from here right and i just moved put it in photoshop uh yeah <laughs> this one all right and then i saved it so after saving it i uh, let's try this we can go to firefly uh keep the content type to auto upload the image of uh, not this one of the museum and let's check the settings so we have hyper realistic ticked on so uh, let's try with a simple prompt a cinematic shot of a museum with a dinosaur and skeletons of other preserved animals oh my god this is brilliant so except for the second one in which the dinosaur is flying the the if you see the detail that has been given to the museums it's just brilliant and the lighting is crazy it, it has the warm and light uh, cool tones to it uh now let's try uh like this is not sure of a museum of a underwater let's try under water museum with light and this looks brilliant i think because of the god rays it got a bit uh what do we say uh, awkward but let's see what this uh, suggests a cinematic shot of an underwater museum with a dinosaur and skeleton of the other preserved animals during night time oh my god this one looks super amazing now let's go to digital art and try a cinematic shot of the underwater museum with a dinosaur and skeletons of the other preserved animals during okay like this and some fishes in the background and we did not say the time has to be night but it it looks brilliant when you have a uh, you know concept like this where you can further go and uh, improvise now uh, just if i had to uh, let's say modify this okay, all right so if i just say museum with uh with an aircraft what a craft that's interesting and see how it went from this museum with a dinosaur to uh, something sci-fi aircrafts um uh, ship or let's say a, a sunken ship 
wow this is brilliant i'm just waiting for a second image also i hope the second image is really cool all right so guys i really hope that you must have found this video a bit interesting and uh, how ai can actually help in conceptualizing whenever i create doodles they are mostly like uh, noodles and uh, it's it's really not that great but in 3d when i can really have some idea of uh, cool cinematic angles and get some amazing concepts uh, do let me know in comments if you like the video and do like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching